a day a day actually not a day actually it's about a couple of hours just below here <clears throat> i will show you later i spent a couple of hours there when i was lifted from my workplace and i got locked up in the cell <laughs> i was locked up there a couple of couple of hours before i got my solicitors coming and we did the formality statement and i got bailed and uh, god that was a terrible terrible moment for me guys it was another eye opening i don't know if you're wrong guys you know you know what it says you know guilty till proven guilty right <clears throat> so it was kind of a it was a nearly a foul play being framed on me but man knows man knows what he knows so we i mean <laughs> after being released i've been coming in this place this used to be the courthouse guys it was a it was a hell moment guys that was that is gonna be my negative story about blackpool guys i said so there's not much negative stuff so sorry about that i did light i do confess on that you can see blackpool magistrate and civil court this is the place i was coming i was coming here trying to defend myself i was coming through these doors getting inside getting checked screen with security and going in waiting to be called in to be called in to, you know and to defend myself from whatever case was frame on me so but thank god we went through it with a uh, wit with a, with, a, with a good faith <clears throat> and knowing that you are I'm, I'm, I'm not guilty and I'm not uh, I haven't committed a crime so it was all good look at it guys the abandoned building guys look at it how it is that's a police that's a police bait right that was a police bait and this is the court bait so but you know you can't get in you can't get through them gates you have to go through you have to go around you can come through this way I'm just I'm just showing you guys I'm just guiding you look at it now it's an abandoned building when the homeless people are saying they got no way to go no way to sleep and this is an abandoned building guys what is the council gonna do in this building this is the family court right black you can see the Blackpool family court yeah you see that as you can see Blackpool family court yeah so guys it's really really if you're not a criminal if you're not a bad guy it's not nice to come uh, as an innocent person to come here to defend yourself to come here to try and keep your family together is really not easy it's so traumatizing guys it's stressful it's not an easy thing guys you wouldn't know the feeling till you get in these places or till you get locked up and you have to get like trying to get yourself out guys look at it now i'm sure there's a homeless person that's settled here see guys so basically somebody some homeless person or or female has settled here they saw oh, socks look I don't know whether he's got given this or or he's he's pinchy I don't we don't know so guys this is a homeless person that sleeps sleep here oh he's got a bin there that's that's not bad he's got a bin but there's a lot of shit over that side so guys he can't get in I guess there's no way he can get inside but I guess he's comfortable around here it's actually not bad actually it's a good spot <laughs> this is a good spot you know I can't feel cold as whatsoever you can't even get feel the wind or anything and look wow amazing he's got socks there wow mega value that's seven pound that is good deal that for how many two for eleven wow wow okay size so seven to eleven sports socks wow amazing deal that let's see okay that is his fit i hope uh i hope nobody will come here and then uh and rob him actually i hope not 
there's a butcher's there that look familiar to me but then the only shit is this look pans boxes and wine obviously a bottle of wine <laughs> don't forget about the bottle of wine Ooh, there's some dodgy shit going in here man damn pampa junior Let's see. Mm, what was in here oh oh there's pampas mm. right there's pampas probably i don't know i'm not gonna say it. maybe it's got robbed and then <coughs> it's no use for uh, for them and then basically just dump it there so guys this is it this is that's the view you get <coughs> in this building the abandoned building so which used to be the court or this belonged to the council obviously it's a taxpayers money guys people that goes on immigration and say so and so building look at this guys we paid for this yeah we paid we paid our taxes for this building and this building not being used this has been abandoned right and now 300,000 being spent in the tablet gateway so what about this building this building can be something else you know this can be still used can they not guys tell me in the comment what do you think what's wrong with this building yeah this can be renovated it can uh, it can be used as something else look <coughs> it can be still used somebody you know, the homeless guy just hung their clothes over there so what do you think this is it if you go the other, this bit there that's central they used to say it's quite rough i don't know and that is a housing option there right that's the housing option so we're gonna take you around so this building here has the this is the court bed this is the magistrate and all that and the family court here and the police on the next building so guys 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 what do you think this is the tax my uh, taxpayers money this is my tax money and your tax money being put into this building and it's not in use i don't think anything wrong in this building nothing wrong in this building right but it's been abandoned god knows how many years now yeah it's not i'm sure it's not five years you yeah, know but it's been at least probably well covid time and this is the police bay this bit here is the police bay and now the police also has a new headquarters they had amazing luxurious <coughs> they have a luxurious building by the m55 right so god knows how much they spend in there and uh, this is abandoned right it's quite shit smell here guys stings stings man <sighs> stings of pee Ooh. shit crap Ooh. Guys, I'm just showing you everything guys, like this channel we goes and create different content, you know. We just, just go and saw a good bit. We saw everything guys, look. Look at it, lift. The car park still upright. But look at that, how shit it is. It is shit man. I'm sorry about my language guys, excuse me with my language. So this is it, this is the car park. The car park is still on operation, right? Right? That meter there that meter is not it's not working so i'm not sure if it's still free or not but this is it's covered up right and basically nothing is free in this world in in in, in, in blackpool like you say so nothing is free so i can see people right in front of me let's go and see nothing is free is the ramp up traffic out okay no, we don't want to go up. We're going to get the hell out of here now. I had enough. Magistrate court. County court. Second floor. That's up there. So, guys. I'm just going to get the hell out of here. It stinks. So, why is the car park still on operation, you know? And those buildings are not. And, uh, okay. Let's check this meter. Let's check this meter here. Okay. Seeing all these buildings still on operation. But then where is the toilet? Where is the public toilet? Okay, this is a ticket machine. This one it must be working. As you can see, the time and all that is there. 
obviously the council is still raking and still making money on this building all right you can see two hours four pound fifty that's what you pay just two hours four pound fifty and 168 hours 40 pound right everything is here it's still on operation and look how sick it is look look how disgusting is this place is that a public toilet okay let's just have a look we're gonna have a look look that is pee that is obviously not rainwater right that is pee that's piss okay that's nothing here that's like a fire exit nothing there's no toilet or whatsoever that's a pee if you're busting yeah and you drive or you drove down here miles away you want you busting for piss you better piss on the garage and the petrol station or garage somewhere before you get here so everything is just turning to be like uh, car parking car parking is all money making you know so guys uh, I think probably I need to get back up I need to get myself I need to get that way let's go around let's see if we can get around but more likely I'll be I'll be stuck because this is all boarded up and uh, all ramped so guys this, that's a car park you know that is a car park so the council just building stuff or making stuff just to make money so what is that says here restaurant bars artisan food market so this is a restaurant bars and also on so on so on so so let's see if i can get my way through here use this as a shortcut let's see if i am still on my young age if i can climb up use this as an access there's people there watching me say what the hell are you doing <coughs> okay guys this is it we made it this is the other bit <laughs> they'll be wondering what people there sat in their sat in their car so we on the other side now this is the coach station right this is a blackpool coach station and that is the building it used to be the police building there that big building that's where i was locked up for <laughs> for god knows how many hours right okay is that what the transformation going to be like? Right, okay. That's what they're building there. Right, so. Uh, let's go, guys. So, guys, welcome, welcome to African World Traveller. We are live and direct in Blackpool. We're behind the Coral Island. And we are in the car park. And... The National Express, like a coach station. That is the coach station there. Right? Look how tiny it is. And with all these buildings that have been built here, not even a proper, proper coach station. Look at it. It's not even a building, is it? Right? That's like a bus stop or a tram stop. <laughs> I think the councils who kind of are like transportation should be well why is it a different thing is it because it's not part of the council because that is a national express right so it should be i think the coach station should be bigger than this so we got a tram station we got a we got a train station we get in a tram station anyway which is coming up and we got a trans, uh, train station, stations, which are not massive, which are small anyway. And this is the coach station here. Okay, this is the public toilet here. And it's, it's like, yeah, here, it's a public toilet here, but it's not many. It should be at least every half a mile should be a toilet. And this is how you get through, 40p. Yeah, you pay 40p to pee. Oh, there seems like a lot of bikers here. It seems like there are a lot of bikers here today. Let's see what event is here. Let's see. 
it's a dull life let's see he's showing so, you know, up he's always on his phone but he's not he's not on tonight he's not on his phone tonight we didn't catch him on his phone he's not on his phone tonight he's behaving how you doing bro you good you good yeah man how you doing lads you good how you doing you good yeah, you good, yeah? So how's it going? What, what event you got there? Is that bikers? This is the bikers, yeah, they come every year, mate. Every year? Yeah, good oh, lads. Good lads, lads. yeah, they behave, yeah. Pitch back and and everything, it's yeah. good. Good, yeah? Hey, you having a... Uh, what time are you here till? Uh, midnight. Midnight. Oh, you're a bit, tell us three things, three positive things about Black and Black and Black and No, I felt sick before, that whole fucking time. Um, three positive things? Yeah. You can give us three negative things as well. Give us both. Um, I don't know, I can't really think of it. Come moment. on, you're born and bred in Blackpool. You can have coffee or something. Go yeah, get your coffee and work. Give us three things. Good fun. Yeah. Good, good, fun. good fun down here. Right. Um, you've got all the attractions. Mm. Good for the kids. Right. And not much else. Not much else. Is there any negative things and things in Blackpool? It's Blackpool. It's Blackpool's probably the same as everywhere else, isn't it? Same the as everywhere else. Right. You get your good weekends, your bad weekends, your idiots, your... Right, yeah. Right. It's lovely seeing you again, bro. Always, Take brother. care of yourself, bro. Take See you again soon, yeah? So that's it, that's the x man. How are you doing? You good? You got three good things about Blackpool. Tell us, maybe you get three good things. Nothing. Huh? Nothing. There's nothing. Nothing. Oh, guys, you got nothing from Blackpool. Nothing. Thank you, man. See you later. So, guys, this is a bar, the bikers, it's a bikers uh, event today in Blackpool. There's many bikers, he said bikers are always behaving, they're good lads, which is good, which is great. Some of the Blackpool lads have got nothing to say about Blackpool, so he said nothing. So, can you believe it? Nothing, nothing good about Blackpool, right? Do you believe in that? All right, guys, let's go. We're going to go and uh, we're going to show you the real of Blackpool, the real Blackpool. The real Blackpool, let's go. Let's go, what time is it now? Okay, we've been filming for like 15 minutes, guys. Please, if you like this content, hit the subscribe button. Sell some love, like, watch the videos, and like the videos. Right? Subscribe and hit the like button, guys. Please, please. If you love the content, hit the subscribe and like and share. It's just Saturday, guys. Saturday in Blackpool. Meet the local stock and the visitors. So it's an event today, the bikers. It's a bikers event. They get it every year. Oh. So they get it every year, guys. It's an ex doorman. It's my. Uh, I was an ex doorman, sorry, he's still a doorman. It's a, it's a doorman college that I used to work with. Demo is sound. It's a sound lad. You know what, the Dolmans here are friendly, you know, in Blackpool. The Lord Dollars are friendly and laid back, unless and until you want to misbehave. Then, obviously, you will put in your place. Right. So, guys, this is the bus stop here. The bus stop in Blackpool. <laughs> Kids are hiding. So guys, we are in our spot. This is where we meet. That's where we usually meet John. Well, he's not here yet. He's that's his spot. And uh, the other homeless guy. That is the museum, guys. That's where he said it's going to be open on the 15th of March. The museum for an entertainment. Okay. So it's a busy day, guys. It's not, it's not cold at all. It's a nice weather. It's a lovely day. So that is a Mexican. Uh, are they finished performing? They finished performing. Uh, okay. Have they finished performing? It seems like they finished performing now. Seems like they finished performing. Yeah. 
Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm alright. You? Yeah, I'm I'm doing a bit of blog asking people about Blackpool. You don't mind being on it for two minutes? About Blackpool? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Tell us three positive things about Blackpool. Are you from round here? Are you from round here? Yeah. Yeah. Born and bright. Yeah, there is no positive. <laughs> okay, tell us three things about Blackpool. Why should um, people visit? The Pleasure Beach. Pleasure Beach? Yeah. They've got the nice seaside. Seaside, nice seaside. Uh, piers. The, the piers. Yeah, amusement. Amusement. But it's cheap. It's cheap. Yeah. Right. It's cheap in Blackpool. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay, cool. What is cheap in Blackpool? Um, like fish and chips. Fish and chips? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how much a pro? How much a good uh, size of a fish and chip at the Three moment? Pound. Three pound. Where? Anywhere. Last time I've been in one chip a day. You know how much I paid? Thirteen pound fifty. Wow. <laughs> so is that? Do you think that got ripped off? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It should be three pound. Three pound. Three pound fifty. Wow, which one would you recommend? On the piers, on the front of the piers. On the front of the piers? Yeah, you can get them three pound fifty. The one I got is just round the corner, I think it's called Mr. Chippy. Right, oh. I paid about 13 pounds something, you know. Yeah, wow. Right, I got ripped off. You think I should go back? Yeah. And shame them? Yeah. Right? Good, that's lovely meeting you. So, how about you? She's the one that was answering my three questions. You got anything else? I, I, I live in Fleetwood. You live in Fleetwood? Yeah. So, what is a good thing about Fleetwood then? Tell us. It's, why uh, should we it's visit? a nice hometown. Nice hometown? Yeah. So, yeah. what else? Three um, things? Three things. Um, the beach. The beach the, is good. The beach, your beach is good. Yeah. Can you swim in it? Um, no, not really. Not really. Why? They can paddle in it. Can you, why can't you swim in it? Well, it's, it's dirty. It's dirty and it's dangerous. Dirty, yeah. Why, why? Yeah. Okay, you got one? Yeah, I've got, the good, beach. got good fish and chip shop. Good fish and chip shop? And I've got good pubs. Good pubs as well? Yeah, yeah. So it's no need to come to Blackpool if you live in Fleetwood? No, no. No? No. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Are you modern daughter? Yeah, or? Yeah, yeah. Modern daughter. Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Chloe. Chloe? Charlie. Huh? Cha? Charlie. Charlene. Omar, or my channel is called African World Traveller. It's lovely meeting you. Maybe you could go and check your arm um, and see yourself. Right. African, <laughs> African World Traveller. Right. You can go and check yourself later. African wall. Wall, yeah, I can glove. Wall. wall traveler. Right, okay. Like a traveler, double L. Right. See you later. Right. Have a good day. So, guys, that's amazing. There's people from uh, Fleetwood uh, visiting Blackpool. They got more to say about Blackpool than Fleetwood, so which is which is good. So, all right, people are enjoying. though like that's great. Is that nice? Are you, are you guys from around here? I'll give you a chance to finish that. I caught you in the wrong time. Yeah, we are. You okay now? I don't want you to choke. <laughs> I feel very guilty getting you choked. But don't worry, you got your friend there. Oh, your brothers or friends? Oh, father and son? My boyfriend. Boyfriend? Oh, father boyfriend. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that way. Just oh, sorry about that. No, well, okay. What's your name? I'm Barnett. Barnett. And? Mark. Mark. Nice to meet you. You from around here? Yeah. What is, what's the three positive thing you could tell people that have never been to Blackpool? Um, it's free and very equal and people are nice. People are nice? Okay, one. People are nice. Mm -hmm. uh, very equal. Lots very equal? People. Yep. No, okay. Um, no discrimination or anything? And we have the sea. And the sea as well. Right. Great, great. Wonderful. That's a wonderful thing. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, if you man. want to see yourself later, it's called African World Traveler on YouTube. Oh, bad. Sure. Thank you. Have a good day, yeah. Mark and Barney. Enjoy. So, guys, this is it. You see, people are friendly and uh, equality, no discrimination. Well, good, good. That's amazing. That's amazing. Hello, love. How you doing? You got a minute? No. One no. Man, All right, you good? Because you're on the street. We're on the street. We all own it. <laughs> we all pay our taxes. <laughs> Sorry, careful. You all right? Have you got a minute, love? No? No? It's all right. Have a good day. So, guys, he's not got a, she's not got a minute, so it's fine. We're going to be nice and polite. So, guys, this is the shopping mall. So, we're going to end this here. We don't want to be done with the copyright. I don't know. I don't edit. So, thank you, guys. Please hit the subscribe button. African World Traveler. Subscribe, like, and share for more content. Peace out, guys. Bye. That's River Island. Okay, guys, I think.
yeah we're gonna end here and we'll come back for another content guys thank you there that's a perfume place oh that's a perfume shop okay guys i'm gonna end it here that's jd uh, Thank you guys so have a great day so peace out guys don't forget to subscribe about subscribe the subscribe the video don't sub, don't forget to subscribe in the channel guys okay you wanna wait <laughs> so guys so we're gonna take a break so we'll catch you again soon